good mk empire welcome back to our channel so you guys i'm back again with another baby update i think the last time you guys seen me well the last time i did a baby update not the last time y'all seen me was a uh, um i was in my second trimester so i'm currently in my third trimester i am officially 34 weeks every sunday i'm a week more but before we jump into this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe <sighs> this chair is so squeaky before we jump into this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will not miss any of our uploads we usually upload every monday wednesday and fridays and if you comment down below that you are part of the notification gang we will start doing post notification shout outs at the end of every video now i don't know i can't remember so last time i did my update i think i was using i think i still use the same app because i got three apps on my phone I got three apps on there and that's just because like because i don't even use all three of them i don't know why i have three apps but my favorite app to use is called ovia and i'll show y'all on the screen uh, um what the app looks like it's called ovia pregnancy and it tells you the exact weeks and days i'm 34 weeks and four days it shows you how big the baby is you can pick a theme the themes you choose from as far as like baby sizes you can do fruits and vegetables, Parsi and bake, bakery, fun and games, weird but cute animals. And I have fruits and vegetables. So for 34 weeks, it said that my baby is the size of a Savoy cabbage. This app, it gives you articles every day, nutrition tips, uh, body changes, baby development, um, things you like. If you're a first time mom, how to, it says how to baby proof your house, postpartum depression treatments, um, best ways to relieve pregnancy backaches. It does a lot of stuff to, you know, help you with your pregnancy. Also, I have some other gifts that I like to share with you guys at the end of the video before I show my belly. I'm gonna show you guys some other gifts that we got um, after our baby shower haul because I didn't want to leave anybody out, but that will be at the end of the video. So anyways, let's get into cravings. Okay, so things that I've been craving since I've been in my third trimester, I've been craving a lot of sweet stuff and usually it depends. Uh, I watch a lot of mukbangs. If you don't know what that is, that is basically like an eating show where people just sit down, eat and talk. And I watch B-Love every day, B-Love's Life. And usually, whatever she eats, I kind of crave. So, I crave a lot of seafood. Or, um, I recently was craving a burger. And then I was craving a salad. So, my cravings have been all over the place. I haven't been craving spaghetti like I was in my second trimester. Like, that was the main thing that I would crave. This time around, these past few weeks, it's been all over the place. It's like whatever, I don't know, like the salad... That came out of nowhere because I didn't see anybody eat salad. I just wanted a salad. I was craving it. But my main thing that I've been craving like every single day is sweets. I want sweet, 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 sweets. And I know I got to chill out on the sweets because the sweets make you gain weight. And at my last doctor's visit, I kind of gained like three or four pounds, which is not. I mean, within two weeks, I guess I'm supposed to be gaining a pound per week or a half a pound per week something like that so i gained like three or four pounds which is kind of like ooh, i gotta watch what i'm eating and she also said um my doctor said that they found a little bit of sugar in my urine so i gotta chill out on the sugar but i do drink a lot of water so that's a plus now on to symptoms so symptoms i've been having these past few weeks still hip pain and also back pain a couple of weeks ago my hips will hurt like throughout the day but it haven't been hurt like that throughout the day usually when i go to sleep at night if i sleep on one side that hip will hurt and if i sleep on the other side that hip will start hurting so and then my back it hurts like um if i get up too fast or if i move if i do something you know quick it'll feel like i kind of like pull the muscle in my back so I got to like, you know, start taking it easy and slow. Because I'm always trying to move. Like, I've been trying to move fast. I got to chill out. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my app. And I just want to read you guys a little bit of 34 weeks. 
Now, once I hit 37 weeks, I will be completely full term. And at 36 weeks, I'll start going to the doctor every week. Right now, I go to the doctor every two weeks. So once I hit 36 weeks, I'll be going to the doctor every single week up until I have the baby. Now, I'm hoping that the baby comes at the end of February. My due date is March 8th, which is the beginning of March. But I'm hoping she comes at the end of February. I just feel like she is because, well, for one, none of my kids came on their actual due date, nor did they come after. Thank God. But it's like third trimester. I'm so tired of being pregnant. I'm just ready to see her. But it is a lot of stuff I got to get done before she gets here. So can't rush it too much. And plus, I want her to stay in as long as she can so she can be healthy. Her lungs can be fully developed and, you know, all that stuff. I don't want to have any preemie babies. Okay, my aunt want to act slow today. Well, anyways, I'll just read a little bit of 34 weeks. So, it says, poop maker, your baby is producing meconium, which will make up um, the very first poop. And speaking of poop, staying regular, read on for more developments this week oh yeah so that was another thing that i've been told too is that constipation is normal up in these weeks um i know also layla likes to kick my bladder punch on my bladder oh yeah and i also okay so y'all know this is my third baby this is my third pregnancy and this is the first time i actually felt the baby hiccup i felt the baby hiccup yesterday and it was so crazy because I'm like, okay, I feel my belly like making uh, the same like, you know, when you had a hiccup, it's like, <gasps> and it's like a repetitive move. I felt that. So now I know she's head down because when I felt it, I felt it like underneath, like the bottom of my belly. I think I about, just about covered everything. If I didn't cover everything or if you have any questions, make sure you comment them down below. So now I'm about to show you guys some more gifts I got after the baby shower and then I'll do a belly shot. Okay, I'm back. So, I know this is a lot of stuff, but after our baby shower, we did receive more gifts. And these are from people who couldn't make the baby shower. And some of this is some stuff that me and Mike but I'm going to start out with my friend Tekoa. Um, She makes nail polish, you guys. A black owned business. And her nail polish is toxic free. And it's free of a lot of things. Chemicals and stuff like that that's harmful in our nail polish. She sent me some stuff. I'll leave her information down below. The color nail polish that I had on in my baby shower. That beautiful pink color. That's her nail polish called K called K's nail polish. So I'll leave that link down below. But anyways, she sent some stuff. She sent uh, um this was off the registry, which is also in the description down below. It's the first link. She bought us this animals book. And then she got us some Avino wash and shampoo. She also got us a Bobby Pillow zip cover. Now, I thought this bob Bobby pillow, I thought this was the Bobby pi pillow, Bobby pillow, when I put it on my registry, but it's just a slip cover, so, but I, it's still used. And then Mike, one of my friends that he grew up with, sent us some stuff off of Amazon. She has the Nose Frida filters. If you don't know what Nose Frida is, y'all, it's one of the best things you can use for your baby's nose. And the little munchkin, what is it called? Shampoo rinser. Somebody in our neighborhood, she got us a box of wipes. I think they're Huggies. A box of Huggies sensitive wipes. And then she got us a box of newborn diapers. And that's the only box of newborn diapers we got. Out of all the boxes of diapers we got or bags of diapers we got, we got size ones and twos. But the girl that's in our neighborhood is the only one that got a size newborn. So thank you, girl, for that. And she gave us a bag full of um, newborn shirts that were lightly used. So thank you. And then when me and my sister went to Burlington, I just picked this up. I thought it was so cute. But, you know, they actually do come in handy because I remember using these with Samia and MJ. Which are the car seat strap covers. So, you know, because the um, seat belts be kind of cutting their neck. So, we got that. I got that. 
And then I also got a head support, which you can use this for anything. You don't have, you can put this in a car seat. Um, you can put in a swing or in a bouncer, you know, the seats that they lay in. So these are good for head support. So I got that and I got these to match. And both are made from Carter's. So somebody in our neighborhood gave us a bunch of cute summer outfits. So I'm just gonna go through these one by one and show you guys what they got gave us. So cute. A shirt that says love. So cute. Love it. Calvin Klein tank tops. That's a three pack. This cute little flamingo dress. This unicorn outfit and it has the um the little bloomers at the bottom. So cute. This cute little tank top with the pants to match from Ross. Cute little jean dress. An outfit that says mommy superhero. So cute. This romper, I love this. This is one of my favorites. It's so cute. And then this little summer. So basically they just got us a lot of summer outfits. So cute. Cute little dress. This will be cute for um the 4th of July because of the colors. A little plaid top with the leggings made by Carter's. And this is this a romper or a dress? Oh, it's the onesie, but it looks like a dress. This this is cute too. So yeah, y'all, we got that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for so much for all that stuff. Layla is set for the summer because at our baby shower, we got a lot of zero to three, three to six, six to nine summer stuff. And then they gave us all of that. So she is set for the summer. And this is from Big Sister Samia. We had went to Walmart one day and Samia picked this out. She would not put it back. So I was like, why not? I'll get it. It's cute. And got the little ruffles on the back. I love the color. Okay, and then next, my best friend bought some, she got us some stuff from Target. I'll do this one first since it's open. She got us a Dr. Brown's breast milk and bottle warmer. So thank you for this. We definitely gonna need this. I'm gonna try to breastfeed and bottle feed this time around. So this definitely will come in handy. This is a gift I haven't opened just yet. So let me see what's in here. Okay, so this is the cart liner by Goldbug. It's a two-in-one shopping cart and high chair cover. This is so cute. So you can put it, you know, when you go to um, the grocery store and stuff, you put the cart cover on there because, you know, it's germs. And then it says folds into an easy storage bag. And then when you go to restaurants, you can put it in the high chair. Which is great because babies put their mouth on everything. So that's just about everything that we got after the baby shower. And then me and Mike also bought the baby's carrier. We have a great coat click carrier because we have a double stroller from Samia and MJ. So I wanted to get the um, car seat that you can, you know, take out the car and click inside the car seat. I mean inside the stroller. The only thing major that we need now is the pack and play. So if you guys want to get us anything, our registry is in the description down below. As I said before, it's the first link at the top. If you do not know where the description box is, it's right below the video. Like right up under the video, you should see an arrow. And when you click it, all it's a lot of stuff I put in the, in the description box that's down below. So I have the link to our baby registry if you guys want to get us anything. And also... Um, it has links to like other videos. It has all our social media down below. If you want to follow us on Instagram, Snapchat. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, bye!
belly shot. This is the belly from the front. And the side. Um, I feel like she has dropped a bit. <sighs> and then the other side. So yeah, y'all. It is how it looks with my shirt down. Still pointy. I got a bullet belly. So that's my belly. I'm so excited to be having another baby girl. I can't wait to see her. I can't wait for her to meet her siblings. Her crazy siblings. Her dad can't wait to meet her. So we're just excited. But we do have a lot of stuff to do before she get here. So we gonna try to tackle some of that stuff before the week is over. Before the weekend is over rather. Um, or either in the beginning of the next week because I do go back to the doctor on Tuesday. Right, so that concludes the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.